maybe it won't be after this, but um, what he says is they talk about the multiple distinct writing styles in the Book of Mormon, right? Um, several early studies using simplistic stylometric methods suggested that it is indeed possible, pay attention there, that it is indeed possible for a talented author to create multiple styles or voices for different fictional characters. Uh, they analyzed the function word patterns of fictional characters created by four highly regarded 19th century novelists, Charles Dickens, Jane Austen, Mark Twain, and James Fenimore Cooper. And they say on these non-narrator voices, the character voices, they performed four separate multivariate tests, all of which resulted in statistically significant differences among character voices. The combined data from these tests show that the differences in function word patterns among the non-narrator characters of these four authors are significant. Statistically speaking, it can be said that Mark Twain's character, Tom Sawyer, really does have a different voice than his friend, Huckleberry Finn. Mm -hmm. And that the voice of Jane Austen's Elizabeth Bennet is truly distinct from her love interest, Mr. Darcy. Mm -hmm. While these characters' voices still generally cluster together by the author who created them, they are distinct enough to consider them as statistically separate from one another. 